ward rounds start in five minutes, and the notes are all over the corridor. Get them sorted out. The system. If there's anything I can do, just get into this bed and try to look tidy. You didn't notice anything odd going on last night, did you, Joe? No, but you know me, sister. I sleep like a baby. This man is 57 and had a leg amputated at Ashfordley General. I don't know what's going on, Matron. It must be some sort of silly prank. All the notes have been muddled up. So I see. Perhaps you could just tell me Mr. Steeple's blood pressure. My stethoscope's gone too. Then there's very little point in me conducting a ward round. I'll come back later. I'll come back later. Shh. She's quite right. This should never have happened. The other patients are giving me a hard time. They say you spend more time with me than them. I do not. I'm not complaining. I mean, if you weren't a nun, you'd be top of my list for a Valentine card. Behave yourself. Mr. Steeple's causing problems, sister. Yes, doctor. She fancies me. Ah. Oh. I would advise you to watch your step, Mr. Steeple's, particularly two days after an appendectomy. And perhaps you should know that it's a well-known fact that Sister Bridget actually fancies me. There's a man in my bed. Mr. Steeples. Has this sleepwalking ever happened before? Once, when I was staying in a youth hostel. I'm really sorry. I think that we should talk later, see if there's something we can do. You can cure sleepwalking? You never know. I'll arrange an appointment for you. A lot of odd things have happened since he's been here. Instruments have gone missing, notes have been moved. He could have done that in his sleep. I'd be grateful if he'd make this a priority. He's disrupting our routine and upsetting other patients. I will. Quite often, sleepwalking is a symptom of a more serious underlying condition. Mm. We'll see. This is what we call an abreaction process. The drip should help you to relax and talk more easily. <laughs> Talking's not usually a problem for me. I'm sure it isn't. Now, are you worried about anything? Anxious at all? No. I'm sorry about what happened last night, but it was just sleepwalking. There isn't such a thing as just sleepwalking. More often than not, there's a reason for it. You work on the seafront, is that right? Mm. You ever want a free game of crazy golf, I'm your man. I might take you up on that. Do you enjoy it? It's OK. Except when the balls get stuck in the little windmill. I looked at your notes. You seem to have moved around quite a lot. Winchester, that was school, was it? Uh, and then Cambridge? Yeah. But you left after a year. It didn't really work out. There were other things I wanted to do. How did your parents feel about that? <laughs> what do you think? I guess they weren't happy. No. Do they know where you are? Maybe. I don't know. <sighs> OK, I'm a bit old to be running away from home, but you should see my home. My father's a solicitor. For the last three generations, the firm's been handed from father to son, and I'm not there to be handed down to. And how do you feel about that? <laughs> OK. I had my life all laid out before me, like a railway line heading off over the horizon, and I've come off the tracks. That suits me. But it's Dad's train set, and he isn't very happy. Are you? No, I thought I was until we started this. And now you're going to tell me I'm mad? No. You may be depressed, but we can do something about that. But first, I think you need to phone your parents. I can't do that. I suggest that you won't get over this until you do. What is it you're really running away from, Joe? You have a scar to be proud of, Mr. Steeples. In another two days, you should be ready to go home. It won't bite you, you know. I know. You've been staring at it for the last half an hour. Dr. Klein said I should phone my father. She thought it might help. And you don't? She doesn't know my father. What's the worst he can do? Tell me how much I've let him down, disgraced the family name, all that. Do you know what I think? For a father to have a son like you, he can't be all that bad. He might come round to seeing things your way. You don't know my father either. Are you sure you do? 
He could just surprise you. That's about as likely as you taking up crazy golf. Well, you see... Now... You never know. You got to believe me. Just open your mind. My tangled emotions. I need to unwind. Sister? Matron. I didn't think he'd do it. You never can tell with people, can you? No, you can't.